So welcome back to the channel. In this video, an update on the ongoing Solana hack. There is still no known reason for the hack at this point in time. The Solana team and relevant parties, mainly the Slope and Phantom wallets, which seem to have been hacked here, uh, they're in a war room and trying to get to the bottom of exactly what has occurred. But uh, no news on that right now, but we can deliver some of the details here and some suggestions as to what to do if you are a user of these wallets. So I've got a very small amount of funds in this uh, Chrome extension phantom wallet here. But um, if you've got lots of funds on one of these extension wallets, maybe on your mobile, on phantom or the slope wallets, uh, you do want to get them moved off ASAP. So ways to do that, get them sent to a centralized exchange. That could probably be the quickest route. Um, secondly, get them over onto a ledger. There's been no signs of any ledgers being compromised. So still, you know, pressing those buttons makes all the difference. And as a third precautionary move, you could also revoke some of the contracts on your relevant device as well. But uh, let's just have a little look at what has happened. So widespread Solana private key compromise. This is really troubling due to the fact that this is not some kind of um, little bug or a small issue like the teams have been working on this for hours now trying to see exactly what has a cap what has happened and they still haven't got to the bottom of it so there's clearly something deeply entrenched in my opinion and this seems to be affecting mainly iOS devices with downloads of those two wallets slope and phantom so troubling stuff the attackers are stealing sol the native token and also the SPL tokens as well uh, we're up to around almost $10 million in hacked funds thus far. There's been some inaccurate uh, reports that has been up to half of a billion dollars, but loads of the tokens that were hacked are just illiquid crap coins, one called Exits, um, like almost half a billion dollars worth of this token, but there's, there's no liquid market for it. So essentially that's a, a load of crap. Uh, some of the wallets have actually been inactive for over six months. So that is rather troubling. It's not like these people have recently logged on, maybe clicked a scam link and are now being drained. This is something maybe more deeply entrenched. And it's both these Phantom and Slope wallets that have been, you know, compromised here. So you can see a load of tokens getting drained into these various hacker accounts and there are a wide variety of different tokens. If we just go down here, you can see some of the exploit details in here and it says it may be an upstream dependency supply chain attack. Um, this would be rather bad indeed. I think that there's potential for this to be um, the wallets themselves that have been somehow compromised uh, and they're now live, people are downloading them and there's just something within the wallets that is allowing the hackers to reveal the, the private keys. Uh, revoking approvals will probably not help as Foobar states here, only transferring to an offline hardware wallet uh, should be good or just get them over to a reputable exchange the likes of Binance or FTX, I would uh, suggest. He goes into why revoking approvals won't work, and this is because the SOL and SPL transfers are signed by the users themselves, not transferred away by a third party using approvals. So while you can revoke, it's likely something has caused widespread private key compromise. So this is a very, very bad times. Two hacks in just two days, which is not the kind of stuff you want to be reporting on, but uh, relevant um, if you've got funds on any of these kind of extension, uh, browser extension wallets, or on your mobile for Solana, and you've got a decent amount of funds, get them off ASAP. Just you know, maybe, maybe even just move them over to an exchange and um, count your lucky stars if you haven't been hacked as yet. Over 8,000 people have been compromised at this moment in time. This was an interesting one that sent shivers down the spine earlier. So Adam Cochran, uh, had spoken to a user here who had been hacked on both Solana and Ethereum. So the initial panic and alarm bells went off because it looked like there might have been an ETH hack. But once we dig into this one, this guy had his trust wallet hacked. Uh, but this was due to the fact he'd actually imported their trust wallet seed phrase into the Slope wallet. So it's on the Solana side for sure here. So both Slope and Trust wallet seem to use a single seed phrase cross chain. So utilizing uh, his seed phrase from Trust over onto Slope was the issue there. So clearly you can see it must be on the side of these Sol based wallets. This should mean regular Ethereum users can breathe a sigh of relief unless we see any new developments. But this was just a handful of people who were affected 
on that Ethereum side. In terms of updates from the team, Phantom Wallet here, still working closely with other teams. They're in the war room and they're not sure what it is, but at this time, the team does not believe it is a Phantom specific issue. Um, they'll gather more information and update ASAP. Over an hour ago, we're now approaching that 8,000 wallet figure. The exploit has affected several wallets, including Slope and Phantom. It appears to have affected both mobile and extension. So uh, it was thought maybe it was just mobile, but extensions as well. So if you've got any of these Chrome extensions, do be aware of that. Um, so there's no real headway being made there in those war rooms or discussions as of yet, or at least not public knowledge. Same thing for the Slope wallet here as well. Uh, they're just still looking into things, no breakthroughs as yet, but we'll follow up, they say there. Um, so this could be something deeply entrenched, which will be rather bad for the Solana network. And then Gabriel Shapiro, uh, in response to Kevin, uh, Kevin, I think it's uh, Siki or something from the AVAX team, one of the uh, lead guys there, he was actually trying to uh, work out what's going on. He was digging through um, some of the docs for these various wallets. But as he says in this, um, he thinks it could be a downstream exploit, but he's trying to go through all the information but there's no repo links. He says, this is tough. Docs say nothing. The code isn't open source. Um, so this means that essentially a load of these wallets are not open source. The code is not openly verifiable by random third parties. It is effectively a closed system from the Solana side. And as Gabriel Shapiro says, using non-source code in Solana and some of these other ecosystems is absolutely batshit crazy. This is not crypto, this is not DeFi, it's a proprietary enterprise, same as normal tech companies. So that closed loop, you know, no one can look in and see um, the potential mistakes that they've made here is rather bad. So uh, need to be held to higher standards here and everything should be open source for everyone to use in crypto. That is the ethos. Solana token here down around 5% over the last 24 hours, a bit of a dump right now. I think what you may see is a further dump uh, over the next few days or so uh, due to the fact at this moment in time, people might just be consolidating their SPL tokens into Sol to move them elsewhere. And if a load of Sol tokens have been um, stolen here by the hacker and they start dumping those, then we'll see the Solana price really dip down a bit more. And obviously this is bearish for Solana. So um, probably not the best position for the Sol token right now. The ecosystem as well, not doing particularly well today. If you do not know how to use a ledger, did a full video on this. Um, this is literally a walkthrough Idiot's Guide, step-by-step, step, how to set up and self-custody your funds. So if you've not got a ledger and you want to get one, go ahead and buy one and then watch this video where I just go through literally in a point of view, camera style fashion, exactly how to utilize it, get your funds on it, get your funds off it, all that good stuff. So go and check that out. Link will be in the description down below. So unfortunately, another hack today. So to add to the bear market woes, we've also got people getting hacked left, right and center, seeing teams, uh, their funds getting compromised uh, on some Solana based dApps as well. Not very good indeed. Uh, unfortunately, have to be the bearer of bad news in this one. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.